Hello, welcome to the US Visa Success Series 25. I am back from a trip from Ladakh for six days where I was there with my friends with whom we have friendship for 31 years. So I'm back with a lot, lot of energy and I hope this energy flows in my work with my students to help them fulfill their dreams. So I was not able to have a lot of Zoom one-on-one -on -one meetings because I was on holidays. It was important for me to have a break after a successful visa season. And uh, I'm back again. So if you are looking to have a free Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment to discuss your study abroad queries, then you can click on the link that is given in the description and fix the free Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment with me to discuss about your study abroad queries. This first appointment is free to all, so take the advantage. I also basically want to thank you uh, for the likes, for the subscriptions, for the for helping to me to basically share my videos to others, so that a lot of basically people are aware about the visas, how to get their visas, because this will change the future. This will be it's an important decision in their career. And your support in spreading these videos has helped a lot of other people. And I'm sure they would bless you because of that. And you will also grow in your life. So, you know, I want to celebrate the 75 years of independence, the Amrit Mahasso, where basically each of us probably would have hoisted the flag, Indian flag, and given due respect. And it is important to give respect every day because we are born in this motherland and we owe to this motherland. And lastly, I want to basically uh, wish you happy Ganesh Chaturthi, which is on 31st of August. So I'm wishing you in advance. So a lot of things, you know, happening. And I hope you all are doing good and doing well. And most of you have got your visas and you have already uh, gone to US or to other countries. I, I, this visa series is focused on US. I will be coming out with other countries uh, very soon, very soon. So let's back come back to the topic of today. Today's topic is on the question that the visa officer is going to ask on stay back. What are those questions? The first question is, are you planning to do your master's after your bachelor's? Or are you planning to do your PhD after your master's? Why is the visa officer asking this question? The visa officer is asking this question because if you say yes, then he'll tell you where are the funds going to come from? Who is going to sponsor you? Okay, whether the sponsor income is sufficient to sponsor or the bank balance that you have shown is sufficient or not sufficient. The investments are not supporting. So all those questions will come to you. And you say yes. And you'll be prepared to go answer those questions if you say yes. Very, very important. You should have a clear idea where are these funds going to come from. Okay. Some of you will you say that, you know, I'm going to basically uh, work hard and get a full scholarship. The visa officer may not believe you because it's about future, right? You, If you are planning to do your master's, if you don't get scholarship, full scholarship, if you are planning to do your PhD, if you don't get full scholarship, where are the funds going to come from? That is what the visa officer is. So visa officer is not going to take the best case scenario, but is always going to take the worst case scenario. What if you are not able to get the full scholarship where are the funds going to come from? So, you know, don't go on basically emphasizing that I'm going to get a full scholarship, I'm going to get a full scholarship. I'm going... It's future. If you have got a full scholarship, then you can show it as a proof. But if you have not got, and if you think that you will get one, then the visa officer will say, what if you don't? So very important question that you need to basically answer. I have in my visa series uh, given a lot of tips earlier, you know, which will help you to answer these questions. So I'm not going to specifically again answer it, 
If you have not watched my visa series, any of these, then go back and see this visa series. You will get the answer for these questions. Okay. And this is very important question. The question is, are you planning to do your master's after your bachelor's? Are you planning to do your PhD after your master's? If you say no, good enough then you can say that, no, I'm not planning to do this and I'm planning to come back after my studies. Okay, so oh, that's one. The second is basically, are you planning to work after your study? This is tricky, okay? You have spent so much on your study abroad. So you, if you are going to come back, the visa officer said, if you are going to say that, no, I'm going to come back, the visa officer is going to ask, you are spending dollars and you are going to come back and earning rupee. How can you prove that basically you, you know, the, your, you are, uh, you are justified in your answer. So, you know, ideally the answer is yes, I'm going to maybe come back if you want to come back because I, I'm the only son, I'm the only girl child, I'm the only girl child, whatever it is. And or my father is, has a very good business back home and my, my, my program that I'm doing is related to my father's business. So whatever reasons, okay, I'm planning to come back. And that's why basically, you know, this is what, you know, I don't plan to work in US. Or you can say, yes, I'm planning to work for a couple of years, get some international work experience and then come back to India and uh, work at a multinational level, okay? So it depends basically how you think, how you plan, but you need to convince the visa officer. Most of the students speak less, so they are not able to express their idea and the visa officer then denies you. See that you are able to convince the visa officer that you are going to come back and your reasons of coming back is very strong. The last question that I'm going to cover today is, are you planning to stay back after your study? Now, when you, when the visa officer is going to ask this, then you have to, it's the same question like, uh, do you plan, are you, uh, no, do you plan to come back to India? So you have to, uh, you are going on a non-immigrant visa. So non-immigrant visa means that you have to come back. You are not going on an immigrant visa. So be very clear on the type of visa that you are applying. You are applying on a non-immigrant visa. And when you apply on a non-immigrant visa and the visa officer is going to ask you the question, are you planning to stay back after your study? So you will have to say no. No, I'm not planning to stay back after my study. I want to come back to India. For different reasons, being the only child and having a business, uh, having good opportunity in the area that you have specialized or any other reasons, but you have to come back because you are applying on a non-immigrant visa. So these, all these basically serious questions that I've asked from different types will help you in getting the visa. And because I have been getting visas for my students, preparing them for the same questions. The only difference probably is that I give them mock interviews. I try to see how they are answering it. I try to evaluate their answers, which I cannot do on YouTube. Uh, it's a paid service for us, uh, but I have shared all the questions which you will not find anywhere in the YouTube or anywhere on Google. And these questions will help you to prepare if you are not confident, then take our Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment, register for our services, our study abroad counseling services, and we will help you to reach or fulfill your dreams. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much for again, like, share, subscribe, subscribing it, this, and thank you very much for supporting me. I love you all. Thank you. Bye.